So when it comes to building solar power systems, the most expensive part is going to be the batteries for an off-grid system. Solar panels are cheap, inverters and chargers are cheap, everything's cheap, but the batteries cost a lot of money. And a lot of people want lithium batteries, but they can't handle the initial cost. They are very, very expensive. And what people want is lithium. They want lithium iron phosphate so it lasts a long time and it's super safe. So I think I found the best option for cheap lithium iron phosphate. These are used batteries and they're used in medical devices. They come with a BMS with all the safety features you would ever need and you can connect them together with these cables so that they can talk to each other and balance each other. They work at 12 volts and you just hook it into your system. You don't have to do anything special. You have a positive and a negative, positive and negative. That's all you need to know. But these are used batteries, but they're lithium iron phosphate. So my big question is, will these actually perform very well? I have no idea. I just got these. And so we're going to actually test them and build a small system with them and see how well they perform. And they're actually so cheap that they're cheaper than a lead acid, just going by usable capacity without thinking about charge cycle life at all. This is a 12 volt, 40 amp hour battery, 12 volt, 40 amp hour battery. So combined, we get a whole kilowatt hour or 1000 watts can be delivered for one hour but they are used so I'm really curious to see if the capacity test will come back good and if they've been used for a long time they might have only 80% capacity but depending on how well the cells are matched and how the BMS has managed these cells in the environment that these were stored in or used with will determine how much degradation they have experienced so it will be so interesting to see how well they perform and where I bought these these was on eBay. Sometimes you can get them for cheaper, sometimes they're more expensive. These are used, but typically the distributors, they'll have hundreds in stock. So this is probably the first cheap and beginner battery because usually I teach people how to build raw cell packs. But this one, you don't have to do anything. You just connect it to your system. So it's cheap and it's easy. So I think you guys get the idea. Let's build a system and see how well they work. And so with all new batteries, you want to test the voltage. So we have 13.4. 13.4. So you can connect these in series or parallel. They come charged to the same voltage straight from the distributor. And whether you connect these in series or parallel, all you need to do is connect this little cable. Now that these are connected, we are going to connect these together in parallel. So we have a 12 volt battery, but at 80 amp hours. So first we have a cable going from the positive to the positive, and we're going to tighten this down. The negative to the negative. Now that these are in parallel, we have a main positive and a main negative. So what we're gonna do is attach this inverter. And on the inverter, we have a positive and a negative. Because these have overcurrent protection, I'm gonna connect them directly to the battery. And the max amperage that these will ever carry is like 100 to 120 amps. So four gauge copper wire connected directly to this battery will be fine. The overcurrent protection can easily trigger if anything bad happens to this wire. Now we have the two wires connected to our battery pack and it's done. This little box has an inverter, a solar charge controller, transfer switch, everything. So this is like a complete system. And if you want solar power, all you'd have to do is connect two wires from here and here to your solar panels and you're done. And I also chose this for these batteries because this has an 800 watt inverter and the max discharge that these can put out with two in parallel is 1000 watts. And they can actually handle 2000 watts, but just for a second. So using it with a 1000 watt inverter is perfect. But if you wanna use a larger inverter, you just need to add more batteries. So if you have a 2000 watt inverter, you wanna put four of these in parallel. And now we just need to flip the switch on the bottom now it's on. We have a full solar power system in like 10 minutes. So right now I only have the AC outlet that connects to grid. So we're going to connect it, put it on utility mode and it will start charging. And look at that, it's charging our batteries. And right now they're at 13.7 volts. So we need to wait until these are fully charged and then we're gonna do a capacity test. So now these batteries are charged to 14.6 and we are not going to use this for capacity tests because I've never done it before. So we're going to use my inverter, which I've done for lots of testing and I know it works perfect for that. So now we have the batteries connected to an inverter and a battery capacity monitor and we have over gauge wires that are connected properly for a capacity test. So now we're gonna see how long it can power a load for. And the max discharge rate of these batteries is 80 amps. So I'm gonna go to around 50 to 60 amps for the capacity test. Oh, that's good, 59 amps. So this will be a very demanding test. 
But keep in mind, these are used batteries. I'm hoping for like 900 to 1000 watt hours, but around 800 would still be acceptable as well. All right, we're gonna try to milk a little bit more out of this battery. We're already at 90% capacity, guys. That's incredible. Can you believe we got that with used batteries? That is insane. I am impressed by Valance batteries already. That is incredible. Like these batteries are not even warm. They are used. $150 and we pulled 92% of the capacity that is incredible just so everyone knows i am not sponsored by this company they have never emailed me before my viewers actually told me about these batteries and i am completely amazed by them the next question i have is what if i got a really good source for these used batteries there are lots of used retailers online for these valence batteries well most of them come from uh, medical equipment and it's in air conditioned hospitals so i'm guessing that you will get about the same capacity because these are used for the same application every time it's not like buying some random used battery off of the internet these are made for specific medical equipment applications so I'm pretty sure that if you buy this from another vendor it will give you the same exact capacity reading that's pretty crazy that we got those numbers that is incredible even our new batteries remember the lion energy safari like we couldn't even get those numbers with a brand new battery crazy that these batteries can pull that much power and we were pushing these at a high C rate for that discharge rate capability, like 65 amps and 80 is the max. Even with the Safari ones, the max was 150, and I was only pulling like 80 to 100. And on the second test, I did low C rates. So that's just crazy that these do so well. I would also imagine that the new Valance batteries are awesome, but I think they're very, very expensive. So if you want to buy them, that's great if you can afford it, but you might be better off buying something else. I mean, Relyon and Battleborn and Kilo Vault, there's lots of options on the market. Please check out my other videos. I keep getting comments on various questions and you can easily find the information in my other videos. This video is covering these batteries and that's it. So if you guys have other questions or concerns, please check out my other videos or the website. And after doing these videos for this long, I am pretty darn sure that these are gonna be out of stock after I post this video. So if you want these, you should jump on it. I'm gonna post which link I got them from off of eBay, but there's other sources for them. Another thing I just read is you can do canned communication. You can actually do a full high quality system with these plugs. Another thing I forgot to mention is that it actually has a light to tell you error codes for the BMS. Right now it's very low, so it's giving us like a yellow but when you charge it up all the way, it will show you a green light. I love the shape of these too, the design, the case, it's really nice. But yeah, Valance makes some really nice batteries. I am so impressed. You can see how dirty it is. Like these are actually used and we're pulling over 90% capacity. That is absolutely incredible. And it has all of the safety features that you guys want. It has the temperature protection, low voltage disconnect, it has everything that you need. You can use it with standard equipment. Like these are gonna be insanely popular. There's no way people are not gonna just buy these like crazy now. And I've seen so many people talk about these, but no one tested them and it was driving me nuts. So I am so glad. These are actually a real option now. I'm going to use these for 24 and 48 volt systems and I'm gonna buy two more if I can. I'm gonna to order them before I post this video because I know they will be out of stock. There is no way. I mean, the fact that we got that capacity rating with two in parallel, like if one of these had lower capacity, it would mess up the whole thing, but both of them have good capacity. Like this is such a good test. If there's anything you disagree about in this video, please let me know in the comment section below. And I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.